moisture. It's camp. me and you, fire and ice, my friend. Yeah, fire and ice. We really do need the moisture. That drought continues to strengthen. Cam, we're going to talk about that tonight and who okay. sees a winter storm and who does not in our state. So what a great day today. 71 degrees for a high temperature here in Oklahoma City and skies are fair out there tonight. Our temperature 57 degrees and the wind still pretty breezy from the south at 15. Still water was 75 today. It's 59 in Guthrie, 57 and more in Norman and Midwest City, 55 in Shawnee. And we're a mix of low 50s to upper 50s in most of our state with a southerly breeze. So no ice, no snow tomorrow morning, just high cloud cover coming in, no precipitation for tonight. The storm system in the formative stage is still coming on shore in Oregon right now. It'll carve out a big storm trough just to the west of Oklahoma by late tomorrow and then come lumbering across our state in two distinct pieces or waves of moisture. Wednesday, second piece comes up on Thursday into Thursday night. The second piece, by the way, is going to be all snow. Very dry, very powdery snow, because by then it's going to be brutally cold with wind chills down around zero to negative five as it's snowing. So the second piece is going to be that lighter, fluffy snow. So we have a big batch of Arctic air coming down Wednesday through Saturday. So something to consider is once the temperatures drop below freezing by mid-morning on Wednesday, they likely will not return to 32 degrees by some time briefly for an hour or two on Saturday afternoon. So it's going to be below freezing for a long time as this next big batch of Arctic air drains into Oklahoma and takes its sweet time in doing so. 47 for a low tonight, so very mild. High cloud cover out there. This is not the Arctic front right here, but this will be a cold front coming through tomorrow evening. But we'll make 63 for a daytime high. But some showers will start to form by later tomorrow and even a few thunder showers in north central and northeastern Oklahoma into Missouri along and behind that weak cold front as it moves on in. There is a winter storm watch in effect for the entire state except for McCurtain County. It includes all of northwestern Oklahoma, you see right here, all of north central Oklahoma, down I-35 into the metro, the entire metro winter storm watch. That's for six inches of snow or more. Conditions favorable for that with a watch in effect. All the way into southwestern Oklahoma, south central Oklahoma, more sleet and freezing rain changing to snow in this part of our state. And there's the Oklahoma City Metro under that winter storm watch. Now, the first wave is going to be firming up not until later in the day on Wednesday. So the morning, you have a window in the morning before the precipitation really gets going. And then as we head toward Wednesday afternoon in northern and northwestern Oklahoma, some snow. And then that wave of energy comes out. You see the snow blossoms here. Timeline's going to be mid-afternoon into early evening on Wednesday. It looks like about a four to five hour window for the metro to get some moderate snow. There's a distinct trend toward the heavier snow and definitely the ice skirting the southeast sides of the metro and then really blowing up over in eastern Oklahoma. That's where there'll be bona fide big time winter storm conditions up around northeast Oklahoma, back down through southeast Oklahoma with freezing rain and sleet. The metro is going to stick with two to four inches of snow for the Oklahoma City metro because of the dry slot coming in from the west limiting the snow. Here's the second wave of powdery dry snow with brutally cold temperatures on Thursday as that moves on in. 47 for tonight, south winds 8 to 16 and mid 30s to near 50 for lows in the morning. Again, no problem for your morning drive. 63, mostly cloudy, breezy, southerly winds. And by late in the day, some showers start to form a low to moderate to high probability of that. And daytime highs from 50 to about 70 across our state for tomorrow and then 10 a.m. in the morning on Wednesday. This is very, very light moisture. Shouldn't be a big problem here. Temperatures though by 10 fall below freezing, snow developing in the northwest and then we'll see some heavier precipitation by 5 p.m. Wednesday. Watch this zone in through here. Let's check out the snowfall totals here. Notice the dry slot coming in here limiting the snow totals in western Oklahoma from anywhere one to three inches of snow. That appears to be it. And the metro, I think, two to four, heavier on the eastern sides and lighter totals on the western and northwestern sides of the metro. These computer models here don't really mean a whole lot. The average is five for Will Rogers, but I think two to four is probably going to be the best way to go. The uh, winter storm will be an ice event for southeastern Oklahoma. This is where there could be power outages, Paul's Valley, Ada, 
Holdenville, Seminole, Lake Eufaula, McAllister, on down through Durant and Hugo. So that's the ice storm there. Maybe a little bit of light glaze right here in the metro. Those brutally cold wind chills are on the way. Negative 10 for Oklahoma City, seeing them drop right there. And negative 20 up in northern Oklahoma as we have this brutal cold Arctic air moving in. 47 to 63 for tomorrow, not a problem, just pretty cloudy. 32 to 23, snow moves in, starting to sleep, bit of freezing rain. 14 to 16, light snow on Thursday. 28 on Friday, 34 on Saturday, and 37 on Sunday on that seven-day plus four tonight. Thank you, Mike. On your score, an OU women's basketball play.